You have to set up a system where it's very transparent, but still, of course, there's a very small margin between them. We're coming to the chop now, and it's going to be horrible. There's no other word for it. There is a real respect for who you're competing against, and at the end of the day, it could be any one of us. Everyone's here for the same reason, to go to the Olympics, and there's obviously not enough seats for everyone. We have to treat every trial as the be-all and end-all. Gregory Sabini. Attention. Go! There are younger, stronger guys than me out there that really want my seat badly, and it's important that I hang on to it. This will be my fourth Olympics. I'm having to really sort of push myself very hard to come up to the standard that's required to get into this team. You are battling against what comes your best friends. We're with each other all the time, fighting for something that matters more than anything to us at the moment. It's a time of year when you're against your teammates and that's really hard. Suddenly people who you've worked with all year, and they are your, your arch rivals. You try and support each other, but you have to respect that when it comes to assessment. You're really on your own. You have to go out on the water and try and just slug the other guys to death. I'm trying to take their seats, they're trying to take yours, it's bloodthirsty. Now, we have formed very close friendships, but you know, at the end of the day, that's not our main goal. Our main goal is to go out and be in one of those Olympic boats and win. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You know, everyone understands what we're here for, everyone understands, you know, the rules of the game. Yeah. So you kind of respect the finish line, really. You know, I want to be in the best boat I can be. We're all here to win Olympic gold medals. The standard is very high across the board, so it's pretty heartbreaking when you're that last guy. We have a really close-knit group of guys here. If things don't go well for someone, that, that hurts me as much as if something bad happens to myself. It will be heartbreaking for those that don't, don't make it. To give someone a pat on the shoulder and say, sorry, but it's not your year this year, is bloody tough. That's the hardest bit, it takes the most out of me because you're sitting with the guys, you're talking to the guys, you have breakfast together, you see them trying hard. And sometimes it's then, yeah, the judgment of the chief coach. Karen and seven, Olivia and six. So they're not easy conversations, but they're important conversations that you need to, you need to have. We are really a team, a team uh, bigger than the Olympic team. But you could even see the atmosphere, people shouting and motivating each other. In the same time, I always think, knowing, oh, he's after my seat. But that's the wonderful atmosphere we have. It, it is tough for the athletes, but it's also tough for us. It's hard making those decisions when you've got people with you all the time. Rio is getting closer by the day. We've trained now for nearly four years for this and now sport, we're in the last 250 metres. But really we're in very, very good shape going into the air.